What's up, Scorpio, and welcome to my channel. I hope all of my beautiful, my powerful, and my sexy Scorpios out there are doing well. All right, you guys, we winding it on down. We down to the Scorpio dealing with a Pisces, okay? So we down to the water sign. If anything resonates for you, Scorpio, don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to my channel. Also, comment. Let your girl Blue Flame know what's going on. And if you're interested in a personal, you guys, my, uh, my email will be in the description box below, okay? All right, Scorpios, let's go, okay? So, Scorpio dealing with a Pisces. We got Mace featuring Total. This Pisces is saying, tell me what you want from me. Take a look at what you see. Let me know if this right here is something that we can have for years, okay? So, this person saying, take a good look at me, Scorpio. Tell me what you want from me. Tell me what you want. How, how you want this man or how you want this woman to be, okay? See, I'll take it how it resonates, depending on who you're dealing with. They saying, well, just tell me what do you want from me, okay? So I feel like this person honestly does not know what you want, okay? They saying, but take a look. Like, look at me. Do you think what you see right here, what's in front of you, is something that we can have for years, okay? Or do you feel like this is something that we just going to have for a short time? Okay, we got 112. It's over now. Okay, so this could have been someone who was connected or who was involved with someone else. Okay, but that connection, whoever they were attached to, that connection that they share is over now. Okay, so they could have been involved with a third party or outside connection. Okay, but whatever connection they had, baby, that shit is dead. Then we also have Ruben Stuttered, sorry for 2004. So some of you guys, maybe something happened between you guys in 2004. It doesn't have to be. But I feel like this person just wants to apologize for everything that they've done to you, okay? Everything they put you through, just everything in general. Like, I feel like this person wants to give you that apology that you've been waiting for. Like, you've been waiting for this person to apologize, to tell you they sorry, to to acknowledge, you know what I'm saying, the hurt and pain that they put you through. A lot of you, that's what you just didn't want this person to do. Like, shit, it just acknowledge that you you fucked up and that you played with my heart and you played with my mind and you did this and you did that, okay? But I feel like this is someone who has a hard time admitting, you know, when they're wrong. All right, Holy Spirit, let's see what's going on in this connection between Scorpio dealing with a Pisces here. Let me get my glasses. Yeah. Okay, I have to get my glasses. All right, Scorpio and Pisces, Holy Spirit. What is going on in this connection with Scorpio dealing with a Pisces? Ooh, we got the lovers, okay. So the lovers talks about a choice here, okay? Making a decision of the heart, okay? So there was a decision that had to be made, okay? Or this person now is getting ready to make a decision of the heart. This talks about having the power to choose the path that you want to take, connecting with what your heart truly desires, okay? This is you know, romance, union, attraction. So there's a decision of the heart, okay, that either has to be made now or that was made in the past, okay? I feel like with this being upright, this talks about a decision of the heart that's going to be made now, that's being made now. And this is someone that has been working on their root chakra. They're more grounded. They're more secure. They're more stable within themselves. Okay, so in the past, this person may have had a choice between you and someone else, right? But see, they weren't safe and secure within themselves. They didn't have a, a foundation. Or you and this person weren't able to build a firm foundation. I feel like this is someone who didn't come from, you know, uh, a healthy foundation. Like this is someone who wasn't shown with like a healthy relationship, what a healthy marriage looks like. I feel like dealing with this person in the past, I feel like they were not being their genuine, true, authentic self. What you got was this, this shadow self, okay? You got this person operating in their shadow self, in their lower self, okay? But this is someone who wants to come into union, Scorpio, okay? So Pisces is ready to come into union, okay, and be their true, authentic self. I'm covering up the naked people, so 
you two won't have nothing to say, okay? So we have the lover, Scorpio, okay? 666. Could be significant. Tell us more, Holy Spirit, about the lovers. Pisces, I mean, Scorpio, I think y'all the first ones that done got like a reading like this, okay? Yeah, they're making a choice now because some of you guys, they are in a marriage. They are in a connection right now that they do not want to commit to, okay? They're not willing to commit to this, okay? They were not willing to commit to you in the past. They're not willing to put in the hard work, okay? There can be some cheating going on, scamming. But this is someone like they, I feel like they were trying to put in hard work or they were trying to dedicate themselves and put in hard work and another connection, right? But see, they didn't get that shit back. I feel like what happens to them is they got cheated on, okay? They got played. They, I feel like they, they skipped over you to go to somebody else. They wind up playing them in the end, okay? And now this person, now they wanted to make a decision of the heart, okay? Now this is why this situation is over with between them and possibly a third party because they found out that this third party had been cheating on them, okay? Could have been scamming them out of money with this eight of pentacles as well, okay? And now this person wants to come in and apologize to you because, see, when they had a choice in the past and they had a decision, you know what I'm saying, to make, I feel like they went towards the wrong person, okay? Now that they finally found out that it's being revealed that they've been cheated on, okay, and they got played by somebody else. Now they want to come back, Scorpio, and apologize to you. Tell us more, Holy Spirit. Messages for my Scorpios dealing with Pisces. What is it that my Scorpios need to know? I love you, Scorpio. If anything is resonating for you guys, don't forget to like this video, okay? Scorpio dealing with Pisces, 888 Scorpio can be significant, 777, yeah. I feel like they had a lot of options, okay? So when you were dealing with this person, when you're dealing with Pisces, Scorpio, shit, you weren't the only option that this person had to choose from, okay? They had other men, other women, okay? Some of you guys, we had evil here, okay? We had evil darkness lurking in one of these cups. They went toward money, they went toward trauma, you know what I'm saying? They had all type of options, all type of choices that I feel like created some type of illusion. Like this person, because of all these options and choices that they had to make, like it created some type of illusion to where this person couldn't figure out like which cup was going to be the best. You know what I'm saying? Should I go toward money? Should I go toward love? Should I go toward greed? Should I go toward this? Like this person really didn't know. Like look at this person sitting up here looking at these cups. Like they had all these cups displayed in front of them. They're like, hmm. Love looks good, but shit, that money look good too. Shit, that sex over there look good. Shit, I take a little bit of that. Like everything looks so good to this person to where they couldn't figure out which one, which choice was going to be the best. Okay, and this is why this person wants to apologize. Okay, because they created an illusion to where they didn't know what they needed to do. Tell us more, Holy Spirit. Scorpio dealing with Pisces. Then we're gonna pull a little bit of oracle. Before I end this video, okay? All right, Scorpio, we also have Tower, okay? So there's something unexpectedly that's going to happen. I feel like this Tower moment, Scorpio, is going to call, it's going to call some type of major wake up call, okay? You see two people being like bolted out this, this building here, okay? So I feel like there's about to be some type of surprise, some type of disruption, or I feel like this is what happened. Yeah, this is what happened, Scorpio. This person, I feel like they could have been dealing, had, you know what I'm saying, dealing with multiple people here. But there was some type of disruption. Like this person was out here at, at Pee Wee's Playhouse just having a grand old time. But I feel like there was some type of breakup for some of you guys. Okay, this person wants to confess. I'm telling you, thank you for 2000. I mean, sorry for 2004. This person wants to confess to you now about this tower moment, okay, about this major disruption that they had in their life here. All right, let's pull a little bit of oil for here, Scorpio. And let's see what's going on. What we got? I'm sorry I couldn't be the person that you needed me to be, okay? So this person wants to apologize. Pisces wants to apologize to you because I feel like deep down, they knew that they could have been better. You know what I'm saying? Now that they're reflecting back on the choices that they made, okay? They're like, man, I... I supposed to have been this and that. Like, this person realized they were supposed to be this and that to you, okay? Some of you, this could be your divine counterpart. 
you know, they realized that they were supposed to be this man, supposed to be this woman in your life, playing this role, helping you on this journey, being here with you on this journey. But see, they created all these illusions, okay? Having all these options, not knowing which cup to take, which choice to take, which path to take. Messages for Scorpio dealing with a cancer. For some of you, they never had anyone who genuinely loved them, okay? So when you came along and you, you know what I'm saying, were showing them love and you were doing this and showing them genuine affection, see, they never had that. This is someone who possibly was used to fake love. You know what I'm saying? They were used to receiving this fake-ass love that came with conditions. You know, fake love comes with conditions. The love we give, baby, don't come with no conditions. The only condition we want is that you get that shit back. That's all we want. All we want is you to give us love back without the bullshit, okay? Now, see, this is somebody who likes to be in control. And I feel like this person, they thought they was in control when they was dealing with you and all these other people. They was doing this and they were doing that, okay? But see, Spirit had to let them know, baby, uh -uh, I'm the only person in control. And that's why they had to experience this major tower moment. That's why they had to have this wake-up call, this major disruption in their life to let them know, uh-uh, baby, this shit ain't right, okay? And this could have been someone that got tricked. Okay, so they could have been dealing with a third party. This could have been a third party or somebody else that was involved and they got tricked to possibly revisiting a connection with someone else. Okay, they got tricked into doing things they possibly wouldn't have done if they were not in, in this energy of being alluded to wearing this blindfold, acting like they don't understand, okay? And this could have been someone that contracted an STD from a third party, okay? Because they could have got tricked. They could have been out here, like I said, Scorpio having threesomes, doing all type of, you know what I'm saying, kinky ass shit, and fucked around and got treats and contracted an STD. This could have been something that happened in the past. This could be something that's currently going on, okay? This could be something that happens in the future, okay? This is also someone because they like to be in control. They used to get mad because you didn't do the things that they wanted you to do, okay? So they want you, Scorpio, to play alone, you know what I'm saying? And like, Shit, just be a choice, Scorpio. What you talking about? Why you complaining like this person just wants you to play the to play the game along with them? But you was like, hell no, nah, I'm not no choice, baby. I'm not an option here, okay? But now they feel like, Scorpio, you guys have unfinished business. They feel like this situation between you guys is not over with, okay? And they also want to apologize for pushing you away. For some of you, maybe this person didn't know what they wanted. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it was something this person was confused about, you know, some some things. Maybe they were trying to figure out some things about themselves, you know, before they can give you, you know what I'm saying, something in return. Okay, so this could have been someone that, like, they had some internal things. Like, they like this could have been someone, I don't know why I'm hearing sexuality. Like, someone here could have been trying to figure out, like, their sexuality. Okay, for some of you, this could be like a same-sex connection, right? And for some of you, this person, while they were trying to figure out, you know, if they really like men, if they really like women, like who do they like, they pushed you away. Okay. They possibly experimented with other men, other women, you know what I'm saying? Until they figured out which one they like. Like this is someone who I feel like was really confused. You know what I'm saying? Maybe about their sexuality, possibly. And they pushed you away until they figured it out. Okay. Some of you guys, they pushed you away because they didn't, they weren't ready for a commitment. They weren't ready for real love. They weren't ready for a relationship. And so they dealt with other men and other women, you know what I'm saying? Create a lot of options in their life. Made sure they always had, you know what I'm saying, a new man, new woman to deal with because they weren't ready to settle down. But now they are. Now they're ready to make a decision of the heart, baby, okay? All right, Scorpio, dealing with Pisces. That's all I have for you guys. If anything resonated, don't forget to like this video. And until next time, Scorpio, stay blessed.